Hey guys, it's John the Dyslexic Geek here and today I'm going to be reviewing the Transformers Optimus Prime set number 10302. So let's get it built and take a closer look. Here we go, here he is fully assembled. Optimus Prime was released in June 2022. He has 1507 pieces and costs £160, $180 and €180. Euros. Uh, to take a spin around here, you can see him in a bit more in more detail. If you take a look around the back, uh, the colours are really light, really nice, very accurate, uh, and they really do stand out. The red, red and blue, and the grey really, really do look good together. Um, I think it's very, very good, beautiful to look at. In fact, I actually I can't stop looking at it. In fairness, uh, Octopus comes with a range of accessories that include this uh, blaster here, which is quite a good fun build. Uh, he also comes with uh, this like power axe, I guess I think is what this is. Um, you have to remove the hand joint to slot it in. Um, but yeah, it's kind of an alternative weapon for him to, to wield. He also comes with this rather cool jetpack that um, clips on around the back here. Um, you've got this, this piece here is printed, it's not a sticker. Um, he does look cool with the jetpack. Uh, so that's another one accessory it comes with. Uh, also comes with this Energon Cube. Um, doesn't really do very much, but it certainly is a, a nice nod to the cartoon series for those that have seen it. Um, so yeah, it's just a little thing that comes with. As a nice, a nice Easter egg and a reference to Transformers, the animated movie. He also has in his chest that opens up here. Let's have a look, open it here. He has uh, the Matrix, which is... Uh, which I think is a really nice touch. Uh, this does come out and can be put back in, obviously. Um, I just like leaving it in personally, but that's quite a not, really nice little touch that they've done there. Um, the arms here, they, they are printed. Uh, fortunately, in this set, there's not a huge amount of stickers. In fact, the only sticker elements that are on here are on the sort of leg joints here and on the number plate. Uh, but in addition to this number plate, there is an alternative uh, um, sl slate that you can use. Um, but I personally think this looks better. Um, I think it looks far better with this sticker on here as it is. Um, you also have a sticker on the name plaque and well, detail, the, uh, the detail plaque. Uh, it's quite a good uh, range of movement in the arms. They are fully articulated and can be moved up like so. The arm joints move. Um, quite a good range of, of movement, which is quite fun, really. Uh, the only thing I would say, uh, the arm joints aren't hugely strong, uh, particularly when he's got his blaster in hand. As you can see, as I lift him up here, it will hold, but a slight, a slight touch will obviously bring it down because the blaster is very heavy. But still, it, it is poseable. Oops, there we go, it dropped out. See, it's not very really easily installed. But yeah, so but without the without the weapon, the arm joints, the hand joints move around. So that's quite a nice bit of functionality there. Good fun. Now the only really slight complaint, if I have anything about the uh, anything about the model, is that it does tend to be rather top heavy. Um, as you can see from round from from the side angle here, it does tend to lean forward quite a little bit. It's not major. If um, it's just it's just if I had to criticise it for anything, that's the only thing I can really find for the moment. Um, yeah, so there's not really much I can do. You can do about that. I think it's just simply due to the weight of, the, of, of how top how top heavy the, the Optimus really is. Well, it's pretty cool. The head does move. Um, it has got a bit of a good bit of range of movement for the head joint, so that's quite nice. Now for me, the most impressive part of this set is not only had the Lego designers had to come up with a ro an accurate looking robot, but they've also had to also made it so that it's transformable. Which is just a, it's just a mind blowing technique with how they came up with it. So now let me just transform Optimus into truck form. Um, it's quite it's quite fiddly to do. And you just lift up the bonnet here first, twist him round like so, and the head tilts back, and the whole thing just pivots down like so. And then you just. Move the arms around, tuck them in. It's taken quite a long while, <laughs> quite a few many, many attempts learning how to actually transform him, much like the, tra the Transformer toy back in the day. 
Uh, these bits do seem to keep clipping out, but I'm not sure why that is, but he's then tucked round. And there we go. This is him in truck form. Now, personally, I have to say, whilst it looks pretty, really good in truck form and perfectly passable, it's not quite as impressive as the robot form. Uh, and quite, there are quite a few gaps for around here, um, unavoidable. I mean, it's hard to criticise anything, really. It's The fact it transforms at all is pretty amazing. Um, but, yeah, it does certainly lose something in robot form for me. Um, also, when I think about Optimus Prime, I think of him having his trailer behind him which obviously is not here in part of this set. But otherwise, it still looks really good. You can't really, it's, 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 it's so hard to knock it. The fact that it all, all it does transform, is just such an incredible piece of engineering. Uh, I don't quite know how they've come up with it. So there we go, that's him in, tr in truck form. So there we go, that's Optimus Prime. I have to say, I do love this set. I think it's absolutely outstanding. What Lego have achieved with it is quite mind blowing. Um, it's easily one of my best sets of 2022 um, and I really do hope uh, LEGO do some more Transformers in the future. Um, personally I'd love to see a Megatron but I can't see LEGO really doing that because I think it's quite problematic in that obviously Megatron transforms into a gun so not something I'm ever expecting to see but maybe a Starscream or a Soundwave something like that would be good but at the moment it's just Optimus Prime I've got a horrible feeling it's just going to be a one-off and I'm not expecting to see any more going forward. But you never know with Lego. If enough people ask for it, you never know what you might get. So, but thanks very much for watching. Uh, if I could please ask you to leave a like, that'd be great. Let me know in the comments what you think of this set. And if you feel I've earned it, and I'd be very much appreciating of your subscription. And I look forward to seeing my next video.